Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn about the cosine rule. In particular, we're going to learn how to use the cosine rule to find an unknown side length in a triangle. And in just a minute, I'm going to work through the example you see here. Before doing that though, let me remind you of or introduce you to the formula we use with the cosine rule. Here's the idea. Let me start by drawing a triangle, something completely generic, like so. There we go. And I'll just label that capital A, capital B, capital C here with side lengths lowercase a, lowercase b, and lowercase c. Now, let's say we had to find the side length c. Then the cosine rule states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times cosine of the interior angle at c. And I'll go ahead and box that. There we go. That's the formula we'll use for the cosine rule. At a first glance, this formula can look a little complicated. And so it's worth spending a tiny bit of time just to really understand what this is saying. Remember, this formula tells us how to find the unknown side length c. That's this one here on our triangle. Looking at the right hand side of the formula, we can see that to find this unknown side length, we're going to need the other two side lengths. Indeed, we have a and b inside this formula, and so we'll need a and b. And we can also see that we're going to need the interior angle at c. That's the angle opposite the side length we're trying to find. And so looking at this, we realize that to use the cosine rule to find an unknown side length, we need the other two side lengths as well as the angle between them. And to really develop a visual understanding of that, I like to think of it like this. If I have a triangle, something looking like that, and let's say I need to find this unknown side x, then to use the cosine rule, I'm going to need this side length here, as well as this side length here, as well as the angle in between them. Provided we have this information, we'll be able to use the cosine rule to find x. And I should say, when using this formula for a triangle like this one, it doesn't matter which of the two side lengths you call a or b. Indeed, whether you choose to call this one a or this one a, it won't make any difference in the end. That being said, let's go ahead and solve this example. We need to find the side length x. That's this side length here. Looking at the information in this triangle, we can see that we have the other two side lengths as well as the angle between them. Consequently, we can use the cosine rule to find x. And so to use our formula, you have to think of x as being c, which would lead to x squared equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, so that would be 8 squared plus 11 squared. And I'll just write that. That's 8 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 times a times b. So in this case, that's going to be 2 times 8 times 11. So I write that. That's minus 2 times 8 times 11 times the cosine of the angle opposite the side length we're trying to find. So in this case, that's going to be cosine of 63. And I write that. That's cosine of 63. Okay, so now if we calculate all of this, we'll have the value of x squared. And so to find x, we need to calculate the square root of all that. In other words, x is equal to the square root, make a big square root here, of 8 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 times 8 times 11 times cosine of 63. All we have to do now is plug all of this carefully into our calculator and calculate. And by all means check, but in doing so, I find that x is equal to 10.3 centimeters, where I've rounded to three significant figures. Let's quickly work through one more example. I'll just write example here. Example. There we go. And let's say we have a triangle looking like this one here. Okay. And I'll say that this angle here is 84 degrees. This side length is 10. This side length is 19. And say we need to find this side length x. Well, again, looking at this triangle and the unknown side length x we're trying to find, we notice that we have the other two side lengths, 19 and 10, and we have the angle in between them. And so we can use the cosine rule to find this unknown side x. Indeed, we can go ahead and state that x squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, so that's 10 squared plus 19 squared, minus 2 times... 10 times 19. That's the a times b inside our formula. So that's 10 times 19 times the cosine of the angle opposite the side length we're trying to find. 
So in this case, that's going to be the cosine of 84. And so I write that that's cosine of 84. And if we calculate this, we'll have the value of x squared. And so to find the value of x, we need to take the square root of all of this. In other words, x is equal to the square root, and I'll make a large square root again, there we go, of 10 squared plus 19 squared minus 2 times 10 times 19 times cosine of 84. All we have to do now is carefully plug all of this inside our calculator and calculate. And in doing so, I find that x is equal to 20.5 where again, I've rounded to three significant figures. And there we go. That's how we can use the cosine rule for finding an unknown side length. Remember, you'll know when to use the cosine rule to find an unknown side length x as soon as you have the other two side lengths and the angle in between them. And we could rephrase that as the other two side lengths and the angle opposite the side we're trying to find. And there we have it. That's it for this tutorial.